With respect to the coastal damage, it appears as though, and I'm going to leave here and go to visit firsthand, but the preliminary reports suggest that there has been significant damage to fishing vessels um, with a large number, probably as much as 20 that may have sunk, and a significantly larger number of them with damage. Um, I'll speak later to the country when I visit it firsthand. We have reports of a number of other vessels that have sunk. Some are already on social media with respect, I think, to the Jolly Roger. And I had a report also on the Dream Chaser that has also um, sunk to the bottom of the harbor. We are having challenges with a few other vessels as we speak, and I will wait to update you when we get down to that side. There are two areas of Highway 7 that are impassable. The area between Blakey's um, and Hastings, right there where the old Caribbean, where the new hotel is building, going to just south of KFC. And then I'm told also there are two small fishing boats that would have come across the road with respect to Oystins. So we are asking people to avoid Highway 7 um, as far as possible. With respect to house damage, it is still too early to tell. We have just over 40 houses with some kind of damage or roof loss or um, minimal report there would have been roof leaks, but most of it is damage to houses um, and roof and partial collapse. But we expect that that number may increase because we have over 400 persons in the shelter. And now that the all clear has been given, a number of them will return to their homes and some of them may well have sustained damage. We have put arrangements in place to at least get the preliminary assessments done this afternoon with respect to those 40 houses or so. But as I said, we await further reports. And I want to urge all Barbadians who have suffered damage and sustained damage. It is important for all kinds of reasons for us to get your information. One, particularly those who are vulnerable and below the poverty line where we need to help you. For those who are vulnerable in whatever respect, we need to know. And then we also need to be able to plot where the damage is happening because it helps us to rebuild in a more resilient way.